Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobsclashare.org. Today we'll talk about how to install RSAT tool on a Windows 10 operating system and also a server, domain joint server. Why do we need RSAT? Because sometimes people will ask you this in the interview question that do you know about RSAT? What is RSAT? So in our, in our trainings, if you remember, we talk about when we create a domain controller, then usually we as a technical staff professionals don't log into domain controllers all the time. That's just not a common practice. We usually log into our own machines from our desk where if you're a sysadmin, network engineer, or maybe security staff, or help desk specifically. And when you do these all uh, tasks, so you basically need this R SAT administration tools uh, for Windows and servers. So first log into the, the Windows operating system where you need that R SAT tool. So the first thing you should do is to check if you already have it. So let's say you're a a technician working inside the company you would first go to the, your machine like that and you'll just open it because sometimes another technician will prepare a uh, machine for you and you may not need to do this so he, you see right here your administrator tool you don't have our set tool available so the one requirement is that in this video when I say domain control if you don't know all these things please make sure you go back to our playlist uh, or take our training to so understand what is a domain and all that kind of stuff so here I'm just going to show you how I'm going to reach out to this domain that I have in this lab to grab that RSAT functionality. Now you can install the RSAT without domain, but then of course it won't work. Okay, so if you come over here, go to the apps and features. And you do need to be an admin uh, uh, account. You do have to that kind of level of rights. You cannot be a normal user to do this. So make sure you log in with the domain admin account. I already logged into that. I'm going to go to optional features over here. And then here I will click on add features. So when I click on add features, you can see on the bottom in Windows 10, you have this ability right here, RSAT, Active Directory, Domain Services, and Lightweight. If you're looking for other things, then you could add all these other ones. But this is the main one that I'm looking for. And I'm going to click on install. Now again, this may take a little time. Sometimes it may need a restart because of the update. Uh, if it doesn't do that, then after a few seconds or maybe like 30 seconds or maybe wait a minute or two and then come back and refresh it. We'll come back to this machine. This is a Windows 10 machine. So now how do you do this on a server level? You simply need to go to the manage. You click on add roles. You're going to click next, 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 and nothing. you won't uh, do anything over here because you're connecting to the domain. Uh, this is just a domain join machine already now. This is a server now. It's already connected to the domain. And if you come on the bottom right here, it says what? Remote server administration tools. So if I click on it, I can click on that feature and I click. You see all other features can be added from here. If you want to add more features, you can add that. But this is the guy that we're looking for. And you see if you want to add the, the DHCP server tool, do you want to add the other ones? Like, for example, a lot of people will add DNS stuff and all that kind of stuff. So you can add it from here, too. So you're going to click Next here. Click Next, Next, and then Install. Okay? So we're doing that on the server because we don't see that over here. You see this? If I was about to, let's say I'm doing a lot of work on the server, and I still need an ability to get to the, the domain and Active Directory and, you know, do policy, then I would need uh, th that sort of stuff. As you can see, this one is still um, kind of like running. So we can actually see if by reopening, so there you go. You waited just for a few minutes. I didn't need, the need to restart. So when I double click on this right now, you can see that I can now manage Active Directory. So if you are the help desk staff, you just joined the company, then this is exactly how you're going to come over here. You're going to get calls. You're going to add people. You're going to reset their passwords. You're going to change their titles. You're going to work with basic Active Directory calls and stuff like that. Of course, you can add more group policy stuff if you have all that kind of access, and you could do all that stuff from here as well. Um, as you can see, our server is also getting installed. Once this is done, we're going to see our Active Directory will pop up right here. And with the DNS and DHCP, if you are a junior sysadmin or sysadmin, whatever uh, level you are, you could easily uh, do that stuff without getting to the domain controller directly, which we usually don't do in most of the environments. 
So again, if you want to know more about RSAT, just go online, Google RSAT, and you're going to come up to this link or maybe just other articles and try to learn more about it. Um, it's just a management tool. Basically, it connects to your domain controller, Active Directory, and then from there on, you just easily do this on your normal machine because people just, uh, you know, log into their normal machines most of the time when they do their work. Um, and, you know, you would need a tool like this. Uh, to basically do uh, just do your normal tickets now in this uh, scenario I did a little mistake because I added a little bit more than what I needed but anyways that's why I took a little time so I'm gonna close this right now and we're gonna refresh and you can see our Active Directory users and computers are right there DNS DHCP group policy management should be there too if not we can also probably missed that and we can add this later on I probably don't see group policy here yeah so group policy is something that I can add also after that exactly from the server side of it I don't see group policy here so let's just add group policy in there too so your United States right here succession installation done we're gonna go ahead and close it we're gonna go to manage add roles we're gonna click next 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 and if you come over here you see we're gonna go to features and now we're gonna look for the remote and group policy management right there so if you do run a group policy management you just click on install and there you go we're gonna wait for that too and then it will show up right here so most likely if you were a sysadmin junior sysadmin you wouldn't need to log into the domain controller as you can see you, are, you didn't create a whole domain controller this was just adding connecting it to our main domain controller which is right here and now I can do the same thing that I was able to do from Windows 10 all that kind of stuff I can do it from here but with this I can easily add the D because uh, a lot of sysadmins or you know uh, junior sysadmins they work on DSCP DNS so I can open the DNS it's gonna open the same thing so it says right this computer this the, the Windows DNS server is running on this computer or another computer so it's gonna be the following computer so if I said this computer and I say okay you see the server is unavailable okay so I'm gonna say no to that I'm gonna, I'm gonna click right here and say okay it's a different server that is in my in my company and that's the domain controller you see i just added that and now i can get into the stuff like here i can remove the D, uh, you know dns play around with all kind of air records and all that stuff and here you go our group policy is completed so we're going to go ahead and now go to tools and if you come all the way down there you go the group policy management is available when you click on it and if your domain controller you have rights and everything to the group policy you should be able to come over here and now you can play around with your group policy you can just come over here and for a tip you can click on settings and you will see at report about the current group policy and you can learn a lot from this as a technician so you just click on show all you can see your password policy reset policy many many other things that we usually do in our training so keep watching our videos we'll be adding more videos like this thank you